yeah, here we go. <laughs> We're gonna play stage three. Cool. A Shadow the Hedgehog. Actually, as Uncanny Valley Shadow. Actually, no, we're going to play as Classic Sonic now, because Classic Sonic's in this game. Surprise! What? Hey, uh, you, <laughs> you just went through all of that make and customising your ca your character with yeah. new things, and then it just makes you not play as him. Yeah. You should have done it. <laughs> it, it's, it's really odd that this game gives you all these options, but then forces you to play as Sonic and, and Classic Whoa, Sonic at times. Chaos! <laughs> Chows! And... Tails just goes, Sonic, help me! And just stands there cowering. That's really out of character for Tails. That is kind of, yes, he can freaking fly! Yeah, but he can also fight back. In pretty much every other game we've seen him fighting, he had his own adventure where he used bombs for crying out loud. Do you know how you got here? Maybe the power that Eggman is using is somehow affecting other dimensions. So they call this Sonic, Classic Sonic, they call him um, Other Dimensional, rather than from the past. So he's not Sonic from the past this time, he's an alternate dimension version of Sonic. So it's not it's not the Sonic, the Classic Sonic in Sonic Generations then? Well, interestingly, uh, and a spoilers I guess, at the end of Sonic Mania, um, Sonic gets sucked into a portal, and you just saw him come out of a portal. <laughs> so it's heavily implied that this is the Sonic Mania Sonic. So it's Mania Sonic. Yeah, and in Sonic Mania they introduced the drop dash, where you jump and hold down the jump button to do that. Ah. So this Sonic has the Sonic Mania ability as well. So yeah, he is, <laughs> this is Sonic Mania Sonic, but I mean, he doesn't look like him. Um, <laughs> doesn't animate like him, but yeah. It's fine, it's whatever. <laughs> Something I really hate about this as well is that when it switches into this 2D, well, 2.5D to be correct, when it switches to this, I instinctively change from analog stick to D-pad, and that doesn't do anything. The D-pad does Aww. not function in this game for some reason. So I'm currently having to do this with the analog stick, which doesn't feel right. Hmm. And the music's kind of naff as well. Oh, you must be so disappointed coming here after being in Sonic Mania. Aww. Aww. <laughs> also, in Sonic Generations, if you held down the X button, I think it was, he would just automatically do a spin dash, and you could do it while running as well, which is pretty cool. In this, you can't do that. You do actually have to legit press down and tap A, like the classic games, which I actually am okay with that. <laughs> I like the giant Death Egg robots in the background as well. I find that really cool. Oh yeah, I didn't notice them. Yeah. Somehow. <laughs> the whole idea of Robotnik just like wrecking the place and using technology that we've seen him use in the past, but actually putting it into practical use is very cool. Be careful, Sonic. I'm detecting a ton of readings. Oops. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. What? Please. <laughs> Well, that, that was weird. Gravity doesn't work very well in this game. <laughs> I was hoping to just hold down and roll down the hill, but that doesn't work. You just stand there. <laughs> well, we won't have scored very well. <laughs> it's Yay! Oh, Mission he's pretty complete. adorable, actually. Yeah, he's pretty good, isn't he? <laughs> oh, there we go. Look, we got a backpack for completing the mission. And a hat. And some gloves. <laughs> and also some boots. And also a sort of bodysuit. There we go. So yeah, it's quite satisfying the way the game just kind of like showers you in stuff. <laughs> and if I get an S grade, I'll get even more stuff. So now we've gone back in time. This is a couple of months ago in the city. So he just legit killed some people there. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> and our stumbling, bumbling Sonic fan shadow. <laughs> it's weird that this is a flashback and he looks like this, and yet when you see him first walk into the team with Knuckles, he doesn't look like this. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't let you properly design your character before that first cutscene. Yeah. 
Because the thing is as well, if you go into theatre mode, you can replay it with your character looking like whatever you want it to look like. So it's a really odd choice. Oh look, it's Rouge! Or should I say you? It's about time. It's a green yeah, funny colour. I liken her to Darkmane because Darkmane is basically a dragon. She loves treasure, just like Rouge, and she's a dragon, just like Rouge. Just because I have a little pile of treasure that consists of gemstones and silver ingots and other shiny objects that are really pretty and shiny and lovely. Yeah, it's a dragon sword. <laughs> oh, I guess it is. Mm -hmm. yes. And yes, Rouge is a dragon because she has wings and four limbs. That's right, yeah, she's not bad. <laughs> not at all. Clever, clever Rouge. Rouge. Yeah. Rouge. Oh, that, that's why she likes gemstones. Because she's a dragon. She's a dragon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you said it, Red Vector. His jaw goes off the bottom of the screen there, it's really weird. Blah. Blah. Does, he's a crocodile, I guess. Is he a crocodile or an alligator? He's a croc. Funny how the, the black of the shadow hood stays black, but the black of his skin wrong. goes red. <laughs> That's so weird. Your weird. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. I can't fix it. This because the graphics card's like a million years old. Well, the, the whole computer is. <laughs> Right, we're going to go and break Sonic out of the Death Egg, because the Death Egg's in this Listen game. Up, our other are busy with See, now we're playing as our character, and or Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best to try and stay on this path by sticking in the middle. So, trying to steer in the middle, got it. Red ring. I'll try and get as many of those as I can. Are red rings? Sorry? What were red ring rings again? Oh, they just red unlocked stuff. Rings. Oh, I missed it. Red rings unlock stuff. Oh, I need to kill those. There we go. Only once you've killed everything does the Eva come down. I love how our guy's got the serious <laughs> voice, but he's wearing a Sonic t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that makes loads of sense. So stay on your toes. Thanks, Rouge. Yeah, so this game features all of the new voice actors, which were, f I think, the first game that they all appeared in was Sonic Colors? No, Sonic Generations. Oh, also, that red thing in the background, that was a mid-boss in Sonic 3, and it also shows up as a mid-boss of Titanic Monarch in Sonic Mania. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, we just died. <laughs> oh, try again. It's really hard to control this game. <laughs> yes, that is my excuse. Nothing in this room either. It's true though. It's this is, this has that modern Sonic problem of controlling like absolute bum. <laughs> I've already missed a red ring. Oh yeah, I know where it was. That's all right. I'll go back. Uh, I didn't, you know I said I was trying to stay on the middle of those paths to get all the, um, all the jump pads and stuff, I missed one. And... It wants me to use... I'm going to have to use Burst. So I can use my Wisp to perform this move. <laughs> and when I get different Wisps, they'll have their own special abilities and stuff. I'm going to jump off this lift. Because there's a midway point here. Gets me to that red ring. Ooh. Considering I, I'm pretty pleased I remember this, because I've only actually done. Uh, you know, I've only played through this once before. And I've played a lot of it. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> that was the wrong way. <laughs> Yay! Woo! That was pretty fun. The levels for the Avatar are actually pretty good. They're some of my favourites in this. Yeah. I kind of wish there were more of them. <laughs> mm. So, currently not scoring brilliantly, but there we go, we've got a medal. That victory anyway. pose with the Sanic t-shirt, though. I know. He just looks so... he looks like he means it. Well, there we go, we've got a football helmet. And some glasses, and some gloves, and some shoes, and whatever. Oh, that's, that's a green metallic body. 
yeah, green so, metallic body. Yep. So you can get a silver one, which you can make your character look like silver, like a robot, I guess. But the problem is, it cover it, the silver includes your eyes for some reason, so you don't have pupils. You just have silver. It's weird. <laughs> there, are, there are ways around that, though. Anyway, we're going to do a boss now. <gasps> a boss? Yeah, Zavok. Apparently, Ooh. I like Zavok. I'm glad that they've kind of kept oh, him in the series. That's the thing from from the the game that was on the the Wii U. So yeah, Sonic Lost World. <laughs> <laughs> much about Sonic, I'm sorry. That's okay, that's my job. <laughs> so he's a member of a species called the Zeti, um, and they have the ability to psychokinetically control machines. Although you don't... I mean, you do get to see that in this, because he controls a giant bat. <laughs> he's part of a team of six, I think, but you only ever see him in this game. So here we go, he's controlling a giant buzz bomber. In Sonic Lost World, he controls a giant dragon, which is cool. I like his voice. Uh oh. Ah. Ow. <laughs> you need momentum already. <laughs> so basically, this boss fight involves just standing around waiting for him to finish his various phases and then when it lets you you just hammer the A button a few times Cool. and then I think the arena shrinks as well during the fight if you look closely as well in the background you can see little cages containing lots of little people ah. well animal people they're, yeah. they're, <laughs> the, uh, do you get to save them at the end <laughs> you just jump on a big button on top of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are different to the animal people from previous Sonic games. Because in previous Sonic games, they were just small animals. Whereas in this one, they're actually like anthropomorphic characters, like Sonic. So, so they're like avatars. Yeah, exactly like avatars. I'm just going to get hit a lot. <laughs> I can't judge where anything is. It actually makes me jump as well. So I didn't do that. Sonic just leapt into the air and attacked Zavok <laughs> on his own. Which is very nice of him. You wonder who's playing the game exactly. The game just plays itself. <laughs> it really does. Like, watch here. I didn't jump. I'm in the air, but I didn't press a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I just hammer the A button? Nope. I'm not actually pressing anything. No. Chili dogs next time. You can stand up now, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've got an S rank for that. Oh, how nice. Yeah, great. So there we go, that is a new Wispon. So that lets us use the Lightning Wisp. Ah. We've got a hat, we've got some shoes, we've got the skull jacket thing. <laughs> And then we completed a mission. We completed that level within 135 seconds, which earns us some more junk. So you see what I mean? If you complete various objectives, you just get more and more stuff. Hmm. So already, our options for customising our character are massive. And hmm. they're just getting bigger and bigger. There we go, we've got a bow tie. Uh. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff. It was a lot of stuff, yeah. And... There's a menu where you can actually view all these submissions that you can complete on top of everything else to get more stuff. Oh, oh, hang on. That sound again. Yeah, the sound talks weird about that Sonic, it's sure. It's time for running. <laughs> the fact that Zavok just vanished. Don't worry time about it. Time for running. Isn't that all the time? Yeah. <laughs> so, Egg Gate. Eight. A gate. So we can switch to supersonic if we um, want. Because a gate. Of... I have some of that. Oh, lovely. It's pretty. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, hey, we made it. Lucky us. 
So this is quite a nice looking level, actually. Oops! <laughs> I didn't hit the spring, but I yeah. know, brought it back. It's fine. <laughs> um, hmm, I wonder if there's a red ring in there. Nope. <laughs> I can't remember where they are in the station. Oh. So, this is another one of those Sonic can breathe in space situations. Oh, yeah. And also, there is gravity. Apparently. I don't do well in tight spaces. I'll pay back Eggman for putting me in this jail. Ow! Yeah, so even though we've got classic Sonic, ow, for the sake. Um, they still feel the need to shove modern Sonic into 2D as well. They had me locked up on the death end. This big ball of scrap just won't stay destroyed. I'll be out of here in no time, though. Just wait and see, Eggman. I don't understand how we were locked up on the Death Egg, and now we're, we've barely been playing for very long, but we're already a really long way away from it. <laughs> and apparently heading back towards it? Oh. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> so lots of crushing ceilings in this hole. That I'd like to see. Swim out into space, Sonic. Ah, there's a red one. <laughs> well, that was the last red one. Not when space seems to have gravity. Yeah. So I just got the last red ring, which means that the level's pretty much over already. There are no more red rings. So yeah, we're heading towards the Death Egg that we just came from. And now we're actually at the Death Egg. Will they explain the reason? No. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, perfect. Yeah. Oh, I think that's it. Just two. <laughs> that was pretty cool, actually. Right, get ready for some more scintillating gameplay. <laughs> Holding forwards. Ah, oh, yeah. Great. This game is amazing. <laughs> what did I score? You. Yes. Yes. Yay. Good for you. Thanks. So we got a ghost t-shirt. Actually, I like that. That's the design from Sonic <laughs> Adventure 2. <laughs> uh, yeah, a funky hat. Some stripy glasses. Oh, some ribbons. <laughs> Pink shoes. Scales? Ah. They look fun. Yeah, they're pretty cool, actually. Although it is kind of weird that you can put scales on a hedgehog, but, you know, fine. Is there any, like, reptile-like avatar? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> but I'm aware of. <laughs> you can't make a vector? No. Oh. No, they're all mammals except for the bird. <laughs> well, I guess maybe the bird can Easy have there. scales. Because he's a... Raptor, I guess, maybe. I like that bit. He I'm says, like, are you here to rescue me? <laughs> and my character's like, yeah. It's like, yeah, sure. You're here rescuing Sonic. You're sitting on your ass. And, and he looks like Shadow. And he looks like Shadow. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't Sonic be like, hey, <laughs> you're funny looking. <laughs> What's that on your t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Everything about your character is... <laughs> Everything Sonic probably would not want to be friends with. 